All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about sort of, I mean, semi unlikely places to get your detailing products. Uh, more specifically, where to get premium products that a professional would use, so you can use on your vehicle. And the first place we're gonna be talking about is Harbor Freight, actually. Now, they're definitely newer into the game of, of stocking these products. They've always had some products, but they really upped the ante and uh, really brought in some fantastic, fantastic choices for your car detailing needs. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I went to Harbor Freight the other day, took my cell phone to be nice and discreet about it. I don't like to carry a big camera and stuff. I just feel weird about it in a store. So I took out my, my cell phone, filmed a bunch of the products, and now I'm gonna talk to you guys about it, let you know what I would choose, what products are there, so that you can get this stuff very, very easily. All right guys, so the number one thing, I have a bunch of notes here, but the number one thing is the Meguiar's clay kit. This is a fantastic little kit. It's a super fine grade clay. So you don't have to worry about marring your paint very much with this. Um, it comes with three pieces of traditional clay. Um, they're white, which is nice because you can see all the contamination coming off of it onto the, onto the clay bar. Now, when it starts getting contaminated, just roll it up, right? Roll it up, smash it back down in a nice flat surface and continue working. You don't have to worry about it too much. Just continue to knead the product uh, to, so that you get a fresh surface each time. Now this kit also comes with a 16 ounce bottle of quick detailer and you can use that as your clay lubricant. Um, so while you're working on it, keep that panel saturated, go over with the clay and you'll be good to go. And uh, last thing it comes with is a little microfiber towel. It's a nice little bonus that they give you. It's not something you use really. You, I mean, you need more than one microfiber towel, so, but it's nice that they give it to you. Alrighty guys, now number two on the list here is they have a whole bunch of absolutely premium compounds, polishes, glazes, all that kind of good stuff to correct your paint, get it looking its best. Now, they have more aggressive stuff, less aggressive stuff. The two that I would go with is Meguiar's M110. That's your compound, that's gonna be your cutting compound to remove uh, a lot of defects. And I would go with M210, which is the polish. Now, you may have heard of M105 and 205. Those are staples in the, in the car detailing industry. Pretty much everyone has talked about those. They are fantastic products. M110 and 210 are just upgraded versions of those or refined versions of those. I don't wanna say upgraded because some people still prefer those other ones. And you know, performance wise, you kind of uh, can work with both of them and see which one you like the best. But I love, 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 love M110 and M210. I actually just used M210 um, on a, what was it, a brand new Escalade actually, all black Escalade came in for a ceramic coating. The paint was already trashed from the dealership. Like it was, it was pretty bad. There was bird droppings etched into it and all that kind of stuff. I couldn't believe it actually. But I just went around with M210, one pass, made it absolutely perfect. It was good to go. Uh, was able to go, continue the prep from there and then ceramic coat it, but it came out absolutely perfect. M210 is a fantastic polish. I couldn't recommend it more really. It's, I, I know in the past I talk a lot about 3D products and their polishes and compounds. I do use, use those a ton, but M210 is a fantastic polish. Now they also stock uh, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, Ultimate Polish. Those are more consumer-based products. Um, and I can't remember if those ones are body shop safe or not, but those work uh, really well as well. I still prefer the 110 and 210 over those ones. Um, but basically what body shop safe means is there's no uh, additives in the product that would create any sort of problem for paint shops. Basically like certain products, if they have certain fillers or silicones or whatever else in it and they get airborne, it can cause issues for them like fish eyes and all that kind of stuff in the paint in the final products. So that's why body shop safe is important, especially if you're a professional detailer working mobily, you probably work with some body shops, get that body shop safe stuff. If you're just working at home, not a big deal, but uh, M110 and 210 work fantastic. Now moving on from there, you have corrected your paint using M110, 210 or the ultimate compound and polish, whatever you want. And your paint's looking really good, but you wanna protect it now. And they actually carry uh, Meguiar's three items from their ceramic uh, line. So they carry their paste, their liquid paste type deal, uh, ceramic wax. They also carry the ceramic wax spray on, which you can apply wet. And then they also carry the um, Meguiar's ceramic detailer. All three of those products are fantastic. Um, I don't use those in my professional business. I buy in bulk a different type of product um, that I really love. I'll link all that stuff in the description for you guys. But those products work fantastic and I am a fan of them. They work really, really well. So um, if you need protection on your car, go with those. You're at your local Harbor Freight, pick those up. They're fantastic. Now, along with that ceramic detailer that they have, they also have non-ceramic based, but interior detailers, they, have, they carry Super Clean, which you guys know I use Super Clean for a ton of different stuff. You can dilute it down to whatever you need it for. Um, I love that stuff. They also have Meguiar's leather cleaner and conditioners. 
Um, so you're really covered for your interior and exterior purposes uh, just <laughs> from what they stock at Harbor Freight. They don't stock a huge selection like an AutoZone, O'Reilly, or whatever else do, but what they stock is very, very good. So from there, we'll move over just to pan over a little bit and we'll look at the wheel cleaners and, and dressings. Now they do have the spray on dressing and they also have wheel cleaners. Um, I don't use these. I honestly don't know that much about them. I'm assuming they're gonna be a pretty safe bet. Um, some of the wheel cleaners that I use in my professional business are very, very aggressive, making my life much easier because I don't have to go through and agitate and get, uh, do a bunch of stuff. I can just spray it on, it breaks everything down. But if you don't use them properly, you can potentially damage uh, the surface of the wheel. So you wanna be careful with it. These products should be relatively safe to use. They won't be as aggressive, but they should get the job done very nicely. Now, next up guys is our car wash soaps. And they have quite a few to choose from. They have the basic Meguiar's wash and wax. They have gold class, which I talk about a lot. That's a fantastic product. Um, and they even carry from the Meguiar's detailer line, Hyperwash, which is also a fantastic car wash soap. So now right above all the chemicals, they have some towels and they have one specific that I like and it is the Grant's microfiber drying towel. Really big towel, I think it's like six square feet of, of surface area. Um, now it is just your basic plush style and I do prefer a twist loop. They dry much, much faster. They absorb much more water. But this thing at like, I think it's six bucks, I believe, um, is a fantastic one. You can you know buy a couple of them, but it's a really, really good uh, microfiber towel. It'll get the job done and at six bucks, like it's, it's cheaper than any of the other drying towels out on the market. Now a new item that actually one of, uh, one of the viewers of the channel reached out and told me about is this guy here and is a new pressure washer foam cannon. So I will be doing a review on this uh, probably in the next video. So make sure you're subscribed um, so you don't miss this. Um, but this thing looks good. It looks pretty generic in form factor to a lot of the other ones you can find on Amazon and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's right in that price range. I think it was 25 bucks. Um, it says it's rated for 3,300 PSI. So I don't know if that has a 1.25, 1.1 millimeter orifice inside of it. So we'll be checking that out when I do the review on this. Um, but it looks a good, a good choice. It's a wide mouth opening, nice wide base. So interesting and really cool. And along with a foam cannon, you definitely need a pressure washer and Harbor Freight has a ton of them. So they have the whole Bauer lineup of pressure washers, but they also carry the Portland 1750 little green electric pressure washer. And I did a review on that thing in the past and it gets fantastic numbers. It really, really performs well. Now it comes with terrible accessories, like the worst accessories you can imagine. So you definitely want to upgrade those right away. But at the price of that pressure washer, you can easily do that and still be under the cost of other pressure washers and be getting really good numbers. I, I can't remember exactly what it was off the top of my head. I'll link that video uh, of the review I did down in the description for you guys. But I remember that the PSI and GPM were higher than most. It was actually really, really good. Also with that pressure washer, it does use a, a unique size fitting. So you'll have to get a little adapter. Um, I'll link all that stuff in the description for you guys. You need an M22 15 to M22 14 adapter to be able to run the aftermarket hose, which is the Uberflex, which is what I recommend. But again, all that stuff will be down in the description for you guys. Now moving along through the store, we get to the back wall, at least at my location, it's on the back wall, and that is our gloves. Um, these were extremely expensive for a little while, just with supply chain and everything. Um, they got very, very expensive. However, it looks like the price is back and they are a great price. So I typically run the five mil gloves. Um, sometimes I go to the seven. I never typically go much higher than that. You can, you can go to the nine mil and then um, you can actually reuse them if you want because they're so thick. But um, I typically run the five mil and they do a fantastic job. Um, I was really bummed when the price of those things went up like crazy. I think you know, normally 10 bucks and they were selling for like 24 bucks or something like that. Um, and they were out of stock all the time, but they're back in stock, back to a normal price. So we'll go get some of those, they're fantastic. Now, along with all those uh, chemicals and accessories, like w they have a bunch of tools for detailing as well. So pressure washers, we already covered, but they also have polishers. They have two different types. Um, they have a smaller, I don't know if I have it in here. Anyway, a smaller, um, I believe it's an eight millimeter throw polisher and then they have a larger, kind of a longer handled 20 millimeter throw polisher at a hundred bucks versus the other one I think is 80 bucks. I would personally, if I'm only gonna buy one, I would just go with the 20 millimeter throw, a longer uh, handle, it's more comfortable to work with. Now, they also have pads there. Now the pads aren't great, they're okay. They definitely will get the job done. I, I used them in the past, they, they work. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is for all of my polisher, polisher setups, I use a five inch backing plate and 
all of their pads are made for a six inch vacuum plate, so it's not perfect. If you're buying a polisher from Harbor Freight, they come with a six inch vacuum plate and you're good to go. Um, I just prefer the MaxShine M15 Pro. That's my go-to uh, corded polisher. Um, the 15 millimeter throw is the sweet spot for me. You get a longer throw than the eight millimeter, so you're able to do more correction, but it doesn't bog down as much as a 20, 20 or 21 millimeter throw would. So that's my go-to. But if you're at Harbor Freight and you need a polisher today, pick up that Bauer. It's not a bad choice. Now on top of that, Harbor Freight even has a small little inspection light and it's a CRI 95 plus, which is what you want when you're doing your inspections, looking for holograms, looking for uh, you know light scratches, marring, all that kind of stuff. That's what you want. That's the most accurate, closest to like direct sunlight would be outside. So they have that little uh, handheld light and it works great. Um, on top of that, they also have air compressors, all the air compressor tools you would need. Fantastic. Now guys, if you don't have a Harbor Freight near you or you don't want to buy through Harbor Freight or whatever, I'll link all this type of stuff, the things that I would choose down in the description for you guys so you can, uh, you know, you can look at those options as well. So you can really get what you want uh, and just have a couple options on how to do it. Now the last thing guys for Harbor Freight, this is kind of, I think a lot of people don't think about this from Harbor Freight. It's actually in the paint section and it is these little terry cloth applicator pads. It's an eight pack for $2.99 and you can use those for applying dressings on your exterior vehicle, tires, uh, leather conditioners on the interior, all that kind of good stuff. They do fall apart pretty quick. So it is a good value of eight at, for $2.99, but if you were to buy more premium microfiber uh, applicator pads, they last longer. So it's kind of back and forth, it, 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 you know, but. If you want something, if you need something that you can just toss away afterwards, these are a fantastic choice. And like I said, I don't think a lot of other detailers think about buying that product from there, but I've used them a ton. They work great. All right, guys, so that's it. Just a quick video covering all the like professional grade products you can get at your local Harbor Freight. You don't have to go to a specific, specific detail shop. Um, I think you should because I like to, you know, support the little guy, right? Support the independent, um, detail shop. They're also going to have way more knowledge. If you go in there and you have any questions like, Hey, you know, which product should I use for this situation? They'll be able to point in the direction like, Hey, this is what, this is what I would recommend for that. Also try this. You can do this. This local detail shops are fantastic. Now I'm in San Diego. My go-to local detail shop is car glow. They're in the Kearney Mesa area. Go ask for Jared. He runs the shop. Super nice people, um, family, family run business, and they make fantastic products over there. So, um, Really, really good choice if you're in the San Diego area. Look them up. Again, it's mycarglow.com, I believe. Uh, so that's it, guys. Anyways, I hope that video helps. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.